This is my impersonation of the Epcot ball. Guys, we're going to Epcot, girl. So today I am eating Epcot Food and Wine Festival food for 24 hours. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, I'm not going to really have like a structured breakfast, lunch, and dinner type of day. I'm just going to literally eat all day. <laughs> there are no limits. I have never been to an Epcot Food and Wine Festival in my life, so I'm extremely excited. I'm going to try as many things as I possibly can handle, and I'm going to be very honest. Of course, a lot of these dishes are from different cuisines around the world, so I'm going to be respectful, but if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you. I'm also going to try to go on all the rides at Epcot. Um, I did get Genie Plus. I paid that coin to the big mouse upstairs. Hello? I can hear you gnawing in the walls. I'm also thinking about meeting characters, like doing the main greets, but I'm actually terrified. You guys know I'm very socially awkward, and when I had to meet Piglet and Eeyore at that Magic Kingdom meal. What? <laughs> You're slaying the camera. <laughs> I love that noise. Here's Alyssa coming back. I'm scared. You back? intense i don't want you to get your hopes up so i just want to let you know that i didn't meet any characters <laughs> but in the future i do plan to push myself more to meet more characters and be more social and have more awkward moments so it's going to be a super fun day this is actually the second part of this little orlando trip series that i'm doing this month last week i made a video all about the swan and dolphin resort which is where i'm staying i ate their room service i reviewed the whole the whole place and so if you missed that watch that but first watch this one because this is the new one and I'm going to care about it more when it goes up. <laughs> and then tomorrow I am spending a day at Universal and I'm eating all of their food, going on all of their rides. And that video is going up next week. So if you're new here, subscribe. I am hopefully going to make a lot more theme park content in the very near future. So stay tuned and give this video a big thumbs up. It's honestly the easiest way to support me and my little old channel because it actually really does help and it would just mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. Let's do a little outfit of the day. I actually planned this outfit like days ago and I really like it. So we have the cute little shorts. We have this sunsetty shirt from Target, not sponsored. We have my gym shoes because they're comfortable. We need the support. I'm going to be eating a lot. <laughs> my three stomachs are going to be extra heavy today, guys. And I have this really cute Marvel hat. I always bring hats to the park to protect my bald head. Even Disney magic can't save my scalp. And I'm wearing my charm bracelet with my little Marvel, <laughs> Marvel charms, Wanda, the gauntlet, and of course, Captain Marvel star. And I got a new Magic Band Plus. This is my first Magic Band Plus. It like lights up i had to charge it last night it was a whole experience and apparently it like interacts with the park so maybe we can test that out today as well anyways i'm done talking oh also wait last thing i got a new bag it isn't the cutest thing ever but it was super cheap on amazon and it's very practical it has like a million pockets so i can hold all my camera equipment and everything girl and we're not going to talk about my nails because yesterday i picked most of the nail polish off Let's ignore it. Because I am staying at the Swan and Dolphin, there is a boat that can transport you from here to Epcot. So that's what I'm gonna be riding today. So let's go girls. Okay, we're officially on our way, waiting for the elevator. Guys, I actually feel so cute today. Like there's certain days that I feel disgusting and just like insecure, but today's one of those days I feel like, girl, I'm eating. Water taxi, that's what I'm riding. Um, the ride's not too long. I think I'm gonna fit onto the first ferry. So we love that. Okay, actually, I'm the first in line for Epcot. Love that for me. The guy told me that the water taxi should be here in about 10 minutes. So, not that bad of a way. I'm so excited. Guys, look how pretty this is. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Tyra possessed me. So, this boat is for Hollywood Studios, not me. But, look how nice. It's so pretty. It's so serene, you know? I think this is for me. Well, it's not for me. It's it's for everyone. Welcome Thank you. Stuff. Yeah, we're getting in the boat. Guys, I'm gonna sit outside so I can see the water. So this is making two stops, I think at two Disney resorts, and then it's going to Epcot. So we have a nice little little ride here. Sorry about the noise, but I just I wanted the view. You know, it's so pretty.
I think those are more resorts, but I'm not totally sure which ones they are. This is the boardwalk. I visited it in my last video and I couldn't find anything to eat for lunch. Oh my God, look guys, a pirate ship. Okay, we are parked at one of those resorts that we just passed by. I think it might be the yacht one, which is very expensive. If I ever review it, I can only stay for one night. <laughs> I can only review it for one night because it's just too expensive, but I do really want to review every Disney resort ever. So like, like that's a goal. So I went inside because I got a little too hot. <laughs> and the day is just starting, girl. It's going to be a, a day full of food and sweat. <laughs> the wrong way. So what's interesting is that because we we um, took the boat, we are entering Epcot in like a back area. I don't know if this is France or Paris. You guys tell me. I, I think it's France. I do. And there's the little Skyliners. Love those so much. So much fun. Okay, so it's time to go through security. The line is very short, so we love that. Okay, guys, so the bag check was actually intense, girl. They were very thorough, which is amazing. It makes me feel very safe. Exit only. Oh, <laughs> one second. Sorry, guys. I had to scan my my uh, magic band and it worked, but it was very slow. I was like, is this thing on? Cause I'm not used to the, to the plus version. Oh my, Minnie's right there. Queen, yes queen. The fact that she has to put up with Mickey and all of his crumbs of cheese and bread under the stove, I commend her. Epcot's one of my favorite parks, guys. As a kid, I thought that was boring, but honestly, it is the most magical, serene place. I love it. Like even just like walking around and like doing nothing else. Oh my, I thought I thought there was a dog turd, but it was a it was a scrunchie. <laughs> I'm at the very back of Epcot right now, so I'm gonna make my way to the big golf ball, and I'm gonna start from there, okay? And I'm just gonna go from country to country and ride to ride throughout the whole day, and hopefully try every single thing. Now I do have a pass for the new Guardians of the Galaxy uh, roller coaster at like 10:30, I think. I rode it one time. It's incredible. And of course, I brought my GoPro, so we are going on it together. The music is very loud though, so you're gonna have to hear me on mute. <laughs> but it's gonna be so fun. I don't think the food and wine festival stands are opened yet, guys. I just passed some and I, they're closed. So when do I get to eat? Oh God, there it is. I think I'm going the wrong way, so it's gonna take me longer to get around. <laughs> I will always wonder why Epcot's like main symbol is a golf ball, but it is so gorgeous. It doesn't make me wanna play golf. Nothing's gonna make me wanna do that, but I just love looking at it. Oh my god, guys. Bella's right there and I'm starstruck. Hi, Queen. <laughs> I'm running, girl. The characters scare me. See, this is the France Food and Wine Festival stand. And it is closed. It is closed right now, which is fine. So are these Food and Wine Festival items or like they're like normal items? I have to look this up and like research it. I like didn't do any research. Oh, so these are the Food and Wine Festival items. A warm beignet filled with three cheese blend. Oh my God. Oh, a croissant with escargot. Oh, okay. That's intense. I wasn't planning on eating snails today, but I might try it. We'll see. Short ribs, creme brulee. Oh my goodness. I thought that there was like one item at each food and wine festival stand. I didn't know there was like four. How am I going to choose? I can't eat everything. For now, I'm going to aim for one item from each country. And then if I'm still hungry, I'll, I'll go and get more. That's the plan right now. So I Googled it and the Food and Wine Festival stands open at 11. Sometimes they open a little earlier, but 11. 11. So I'm just not gonna eat until then. I'm gonna save my appetite. I guess after the Guardians ride at 10.30, that's when I can start eating. So for now, let's just get back to the big golf ball. Excuse me, I got to make a call. Hello, oh, that's stunning. That is just stunning. Oh, oh, <coughs> oh you got the Yorkshire pudding. Oh, the gray bay. Okay, love. My hand feels dirty. How do I get out? Oh my God. Okay, we are finally at the front of Epcot. I was trying to walk through all the countries very fast so that I wouldn't like spoil all the items, but I did see a few. Like Hawaii has spam sushi. And I'm not a big spam person, but I know that like spam is huge in um, Hawaii. So I have to try that. I'm just getting really excited now. So I stopped to get a bottle of water at this little stand, right? And I was like, can I have water? And the uh, lady was like, do you want a bottle or a cup? And she made like a face. And I was like, is the cup free? <laughs> and she was like, 
And so I was like, the cup. Thank you, queen. Also, whenever I wear sunscreen, my sunglasses slide on my nose. They're either too big or too small. I'm not even sure. It was really annoying. I'm like, hey, queen. Let's get some air conditioning in the store while we wait for Guardians. There's something so magical about walking into a Disney store. It's like walking into Mickey's home. He says, welcome. Give me your money. <laughs> That sounded so dumb. Wait, give me your money. I'm a mouse. This hat is so cute, but I really try to steer clear of red hats. Just in case, girl. <laughs> Girly, I'm about to snap. The fact that I think you have to uh, buy the stone separately is kind of hilarious. Stop. Oh. Listen, Thanos never said that he's not part of the alphabet community. He's into rainbows. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the new Avengers action figure set. And look who's front and center, my queen. Captain Marvel. That's how it should be, period. Okay, so I stayed in the store for like, I'm not joking, like 20 minutes just browsing. The AC felt so good, I totally cooled down. And now it is time for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. You know what's interesting? There's like some of the food festival stands outside of the country area. I didn't know that. Like this is called Flavors from Fire and it's in this like futuristic area. See that? guys? After Guardians, you know what I'm doing? I am looking up all the different restaurants, all the different stands, so I can organize myself. And I should have done that like yesterday, but it's fine. Look at that. That's the Guardians ship thingy. No, actually that's not their ship. That's the Nova, Nova Prime or whatever ship. You know what's so funny? I used to be a Guardians hater. I used to say the Guardians are my least favorite characters in the Marvel Universe until the third one came out and it slayed me so hard and now I love them. I'm so excited to this game. Guys, this ride launches backwards and um, like the vehicle spins as you're on it. It's so much fun. Okay guys, let's go on this Guardians ride. So these are the little seats. Aren't they very pretty? Okay, so I was just kind of like mentally preparing myself for this adventure. We're going to the moon. We're gonna eat the cheese off the moon. Now this ride is very, very dark. So you can only see my face like when like the light flashes. And so I've taken it upon myself to just kind of slow it down during those moments so you can see how I was feeling. Now here we are launching off off, girl launching backwards it's such an exhilarating feeling it makes me feel like i am going back through time back into the closet you're about to see me pop up right here there i am hey queen <laughs> hey girl oh wait there's oh second appearance we're just flying through space i, I passed by a ufo they were like, girl, what are you doing here? And I said, girl, phone home. I mean, go home. Okay, this is my universe. Okay, I'm about to pop up again right here. Wait for it. Wait. Oh, there. Hey. Oh, the girl, that's not me. That's Sarah Paulson. Oh. <laughs> Guys, keep in mind that during this whole ride, your seat is like swiveling back and forth. So you're like spinning while going on a full on roller coaster in the dark. It's a lot to handle, but it is honestly so smooth and so fun, and it's not too scary. Oh, there I am again. Okay, maybe it is scarier than I remember because I look terrified. And then the ride was over, and I honestly felt very proud of myself because I did save the galaxy. You're watching this video because I was out there in space with the aliens. Okay, they were coming at me, and I said, no, mama. We... <laughs> that was so, so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are not coming for our planet period guys that ride is so incredible like there's literally nothing like it if you're ever in epcot make that your first priority it was so much fun i don't know if you could see me but i was screaming so much my throat hurts. so the weirdest thing happened the guy that was sitting in front of me when we were getting off of the uh ride i like opened the um, gate for him and he quickly said thanks tim I swear, I heard things too. Am I wearing anything with my name? Maybe he knows me from like YouTube, but he wasn't even looking at me. So it was, it was, it was a weird moment, y'all. Okay, so I already have test track booked for 1230 in about two hours. But guys, I think that the food stands are finally going to open. So we're going to start in Mexico because that's the first country. And then we're just going to keep on going around. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten one thing besides my fish pills because <laughs> I take them for my dry eye and vitamins. It was a really heavy breakfast for my dainty self, but I'm hungry again. Okay guys, so this is the first stand. This is not in any of the countries actually. It's just like right outside of the Guardian's ride. Impossible burger, smoked corned beef with potatoes. Ooh, chimichurri, marinated skirt, steak, steak taco, and a spiced chocolate tart. Okay, out of these four, 
think the corned beef looks really good, guys. It has house-made potato chips, cheese curds, pickled onions, and beer cheese fondue. Oh my god. That sounds incredible. Okay, so it's extremely hot. I tried to find a table with shade, but there is none at the oh. Oh, I'm gonna transfer. There's a table with shade. I'm gonna take it. Never mind, someone else took it. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, so this is the corned beef. It's like kind of like a potato nacho type thing. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. Um, they didn't have any forks, so I just took a spoon. <laughs> I had to have some kind of utensil, right? I also got a water. This is my first taste test of the festival. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get everything onto one chip. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. The corned beef is so tender. And I washed my hands, don't worry, right before this. Mm. The chips are so crispy. The beer cheese is rich and salty. And then the pickled onions are tangy. It's literally just the perfect balance of everything. Oh my God, oh my God. Wow. Mm. I have to take a picture for my family and my friends. So yeah, it was 6.50. There's sweat dripping in my eyes. It's real hot, guys. But I am ravenous at this point. Also, I'm really glad that I'm not eating at like any of the actual restaurants because, guys, I have an Epcot series planned. Now, I don't know if someone's done this before. I have no clue, but it came to me. I want to do a very long series over the span of like a couple years where I eat in each Epcot country for 24 hours. Girl. And I like explore that whole area like in depth in the same video. To me, that just sounds like the funnest series ever. And I'll get to try so many different options because I'll be eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts. And I can really get a feel for the whole country, you know? What do you think of that? <laughs> this is so filling. Oh no. I have to slow down. Let me. Mm. I'm giving this first item from Flavors of Fire. A 10 out of 10. I'm shooketh. Almost gone. <laughs> okay, next up, we have Mexico. Yay! Guys, I was sweating so bad, and it was dripping into my eyes so much that I literally ran into this gift shop to cool down before starting the countries. But um, I got this little food and wine festival with this um, rat on it. It's a little guide. This is what I just ate. It was so good. Oh, my God. So I'm noticing that there's a lot more stands that are not in the country area, like um, at World Celebration, they have peanut butter and, and jelly wings, <laughs> which I will try. So I'm just gonna walk around the whole park and hopefully try everything. <laughs> okay guys, so I was on my way to Mexico and I think that I just found the place that has the peanut butter and jelly wings. Oh my God, I'm scared. Oh, there's a bee, oh my God. Oh my God, this one's in the AC. I'm so happy. <laughs> We have garlic parmesan, peanut butter and jelly, impossible, traditional, orange cardamom. Okay, PB and J it is. Okay guys, so I'm in the AC, it feels amazing. I got the peanut butter and jelly wings. Oh my goodness. They actually just smell like peanut butter and jelly. And then I saw they also have a pickle milkshake. So I got it too. Oh my God. It has like dill on top of it. And like all the little things that they put into pickles, like those little mustard seeds and stuff. Oh my God, I should have gotten napkins, but it's too late now, it's fine. Also, if it looks like I have eye boogers, I don't. I have dry eye, like I've said a billion times, and my prescription drops create a film on my eyes for like 30 minutes after I put them in, and I just put them in. So that's what those little boogies are. <laughs> Anyways, let's first try. Oh, thumbnail, thumbnail first, actually. That's so cute. Let's first try the pickle milkshake. I'm scared. And like, what is this stuff on top? I don't, I don't know. Oh my God. I don't hate it. Wait, what's this white stuff though? That's just whipped cream with little chocolate pieces. Those are mustard seeds. They're chocolate pieces. 
Mmm. The whipped cream is giving. Yeah, the milkshake itself, you know what? It reminds me of dill pickled chips, not pickles themselves. So I feel like that's a little more palatable than just a pure pickle flavor. But it's also sweet and it still has an ice cream flavor. So I'm really not mad at it. I think it's a very interesting little concoction. Let me eat the dill. <laughs> Actually, the more that you drink it, the more the pickle flavor kind of fades away. And it almost gets an eggnog vibe to it. I'm loving it. I'm gonna give the pickle milkshake, I think an eight out of 10. I'm not joking. It's not disgusting whatsoever. It's actually enjoyable. I'm just shocked that they pulled it off and they made it taste good. At least to me, it might, it might be gross to you. What is this noise? <laughs> okay. So now, what is happening in here? So many voices. Oh my God, I'm scared. Let's try the peanut butter and jelly wings. Okay, I'm scared. Shock. That's kind of delicious. What's going on? That is so good. <laughs> I was honestly getting these as like a, it's so gross, let's try it item. But I'm enjoying it. The peanut butter is more of a peanut butter glaze. It's thick and it's um almost syrupy. The jelly kind of tastes like pure jelly, but but there's like a little bit of it, not too much. The chicken tastes like good quality. Somehow, heartbreak feels good in place like this. <laughs> no, for real. Somehow, it works. The chicken flavor really goes so well with the sweetness of the jelly and the nuttiness of the peanut butter. I'm so shooketh. The wings were $7.50, by the way, and the pickle shake was $5.75. Honestly, this amount of wings for $7.50 is a pretty good price. Wings are, are pricey everywhere, not just in Disney World. So we love that. Listen, it's a weird meal, but somehow it all works. I'm giving the wings, I think, a nice 8.5 out of 10. Wow. Okay, so there's a tostada with pork. There's a taco with beef short rib. And pastel impossible, which, oh guys, I'm half Cuban. Let me say that again. Pastel impossible. Much better. Layers of traditional Mexican flan and tres leches with guava and cajeta. I don't know what cajeta is, but I think I am getting that because I'm craving something sweet. And I think it looks the most interesting and unique out of the three. And I love flan because I'm half Cuban. Hello. Uh, can I get the um, pastel Im impossible? Um, that clip was very upsetting to watch. I just realized that I spit twice. But it wasn't just like a little bit of spit, like a whole fountain came out. What just happened? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh. So this is the pastel something impossible. So pretty, right? I just realized I haven't been getting like close-up shots like this. I just totally forgot. I'm gonna try to do it for the rest of the items, okay? <laughs> but it looks so good, right? So <laughs> I'm actually eating in the a Mexican quick service restaurant there was like tons of empty seats so i was like girl ac listen i'm gonna be creative the whole day and i'm gonna find places to eat at that have ac because that first taste test at the fireplace was so hot it actually didn't feel feel okay to me i actually felt like i was just gonna melt into a puddle on the epcot floor that's the flan that's some sort of a cake whipped cream let's try it Ooh, <gasps> ooh. okay yeah so it's very liquidy there's the flan Excuse me. Oh. It tastes like, um, what's it called? Porchetta or something like that. It's like that drink that's like cinnamony and creamy. It tastes like that mixed with flan and tres leche. It's like a hybrid of all these delicious Latin desserts. I'm gonna taste test the flour. <laughs> I got a flower stuck in my tooth, sorry. Tastes like a flower. <laughs> There's nothing more to say. I'm gonna taste this blob right here. Mmm. Mmm. That's, that's guava paste. That's what that is. I love guava paste. I, I grew up on it. Um, we used to put guava paste with cream cheese, and it was iconic. And that's the life of a half Cuban. But of course, I only ate it half the time. That's just how it works. That was so good. Now, it wasn't like 
the most unique thing that I've ever had. I like I know these flavors. I'm not like totally slayed, but I really enjoyed it. So I'm giving it a nice strong 8 out of 10. Very strong, but not amazing. That was loud, sorry. <laughs> Other than the heat, I'm having the best day, guys. Like, I've only tried three places so far, but so far, everything's been pretty delicious. I feel magical. We love that. It's so funny, because people keep, like, passing me, and they always do this, like, side eye. They're always like this, so that they're not obvious about, like, looking at me. But they're always like, mm, I don't blame them. I always stay aware of my surroundings, too, girl. Okay, wait, test track is coming soon, I think, in about 30 minutes. So I think I'm gonna taste test one more thing. And then we'll do test track. I don't want to get too full though, guys. I have to pace myself, okay? I'm just used to eating three meals. I'm not used to eating a bunch of little things. So I'm like, when do I stop? <laughs> when do I take a break? Because my three stomachs, they don't know when, girl. They just keep going. Okay, so we're in Norway right now. Stunning. I am trying to see if there's like a, like a food and wine festival thing here, but I haven't seen any. So I'm just a little confused. I hope, I hope there is. I want to try some... Nor Norwegian cuisines. I want to eat what Anna and Elsa eat every day. Well, Elsa's a spirit. She's the fifth spirit, which never really made sense to me, but I love that movie anyways, because she's ice, but water exists too. So she's just water. She's taking water's thunder. But I mean, if you slay as hard as Elsa does, you can take anyone's thunder crawl. So I just looked at the guide and I didn't see Norway. So we're just skipping it and going straight to China. Guys, the China area is one of the prettiest. When I eat in China for 24 hours, we're gonna go in depth. Look at every little shop, every little like nook and cranny of each country. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, so the China menu has chicken dumplings, a crusty duck fowl bun. I don't know why I said crusty. <laughs> <laughs> that took editing to me by surprise, girl. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Crispy, but are you fucking crisp? And Dan Dan noodles. I think I'm gonna do the dumplings. Those look really, really good. I got the dumplings. They look so good. And I'm gonna find somewhere to sit right now. Okay, so I'm in the um, China quick service seating area. Look how cute. Let's try them. And there is like a nice little fan, nice little breeze happening. But it is kind of outside still. Ooh, look at all this sauce, guys. Mmm. So good. Oh my god. I'm shook up. Let me pause the talk. They're so doughy in the best way possible. It's really satisfying to sink your teeth into the sauce. It's like sweet and sour sauce, but I feel like it's tangier and more vinegary. And then the green onions add a nice freshness. The chicken on the inside has amazing flavor. It's just a delicious dumpling. Mm. I think it was five dollars in some sense. Mm. They're good. <laughs> ten out of ten. Perfection. Amazing. The portions of it small. But for me, that's actually a good thing because I'm going to be eating so much today. Also, guys, this magic band thing, when I passed by, um, like, a statue of this, like, you know, like, the, the cartoon dragon? It wasn't in the China section. It was, like, from, like, an old cartoon. He's, like, a dragon, like, a goofy dragon. It was a statue of him. Looking at me. Um, I don't know if they're filming me or not. So, it was a goofy dragon. So it was this um, goofy dragon looking statue near the golf ball. And my bracelet just started buzzing. It was like, I sent something. It was like, that's so raven. It was like, and I think that it was like telling me to scan it and it, it would like light up. I don't, I don't know, it does something. But at that point I was so hot. I was just looking for AC, so I didn't do it. But if my bracelet senses something again, I will pause, film, and interact. Cause that's the whole purpose, right? Um, sorry, I got a little thrown out because there's a family for him. And the dad started filming me. But like with his front facing camera and like it was like selfie style. He was like filming me with him in it. <laughs> Listen, it's I'm like whatever. I don't I don't mind being filmed. It was just awkward. I just got awkward. Uh, my head's at cheap. When I wear a hat like all day long and I take it off, I'm like I'm shocked that I'm bald for like a moment. But Anyways, that was fantastic. 
Look how gorgeous, guys. I love it. Oh, being at Epcot is one of the most magical experiences. It's like traveling the whole world. Look how pretty, guys. Oh, oh my God, these are stunning. She's giving every crumb. Look at them. There's little ones too. So cute. Oh my God, adorable. Look at the pandas. Oh my God, these are so pretty. They almost look like jewelry, but it's a treat. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so it's time to take a break from eating. It's time for test track. If you, I thought he was talking to me, sorry. If you haven't <laughs> ridden test track, basically you just go really fast in a car and it's so much fun. And of course I'm gonna GoPro it. I'm so sorry if you couldn't see me on the Guardians ride. It was like super dark, but hopefully with the flashing lights, you like saw glimpses of me. Oh, we did girl. XOXO, future Timmy. Test track entrance currently. This is not a sponsored video, but I do have a Chevrolet Bolt. So I do love Chevrolet. <laughs> and this whole ride is Chevrolet themed. So I fit right in girly. So before the ride, you get to design your own car and we're gonna design the most gorgeous car ever. Okay, we're gonna do this little key one right here. Create the shape of your vehicle. Let's do a, oh yeah, queen. <laughs> okay, optimize. Okay, well, that's average. Sculpt. Okay. Honestly, futuristic. Length, make it as short as possible. Love that. Oh, it's red. Let's do a nice, a nice like hot pink right there. Ooh, little stars. It's a Captain Marvel stars. I love that. Okay, I think it's done. That's our car. Do you love it? I love it. This is the future. Hello. Pause. I just have to say a few little notes. So did you notice like my teeth flash with the black light? <laughs> it made me laugh. It was like it was like a quick second. Second of all, the beginning of that laugh did not sound like me. And part of me thinks that it was the girl laughing next to me. But the second half of that laugh sounded like me. <laughs> so I'm just very confused. Who is laughing? Who is this Timmy hybrid? <laughs> Okay, so I just booked Mission Space. Now, Mission Space is a ride that I've actually never done in my life because I have heard that it's very intense. It simulates taking off from Earth, like going into space with the stars. And I've never wanted to be an astronaut, girly. I'm sorry, that, that life looks terrifying for me, but I thought, why not just do it today? Try it out with you guys. I feel safer with my GoPro watching me, but I am nervous, honestly. <laughs> I'm nervous. It's in like a minute. So I guess we're doing that next. Okay. <laughs> it's actually perfect that I'm taking a break um, from the food to do some rides because I actually do feel like I am digesting. I can feel the, the food going through. Not all the way yet, maybe tomorrow morning. But I think that after Mission Space, I'm gonna have space for some more small plates. Okay, so this is Mission Space. It's, it's Bonan, but it's only a 10 minute Stand by wait. I wonder why. It's very intense, right? I'm kind of hoping that it makes my face do this. You know what I mean? It goes like that. I've always wanted to feel that. And I feel like I like never have. So there's a Mars mission and an Earth mission. And apparently the orange mission is more intense. And then the Earth is less. I'm gonna do the more, girl. Why not? <laughs> Let's go all out. The guy just warned us and was like, this is the intense one. You're gonna spin. 
<laughs> like, am I just gonna fly away, girl? Ooh, be bop boop. Attention astronaut candidates. You have selected or made us comfortable by enclosed our space. warning us. This is intense. If you do not you may want to go on this ride, leave now. now. Like, Ask ten, ten times. Ask crew member for directions to the Girl, green team. imagine my, like, glasses shatter. <laughs> Attention astronaut candidates. Welcome aboard. Now remember, during the mission, you will be initiating lunar orbit and descent. Okay, like it didn't feel real like physically like like none of the movements felt real But what felt real was the pressure on my face. Did my face do that? I think it got squished. That's like me in in 20 years I'm happy that I did it. I experienced it for the first time and I would do it again to experience it with like Alejandro Maybe or something like that, but not alone <laughs> It's just it was it was a lot on my face. Anyways, Guess who's hungry again? Oh, this big boy. <laughs> I was looking at me. Oh, no. I am going to go past Mexico, Norway, China, all those, and then we will see what's next. Okay, guys, so next up we're trying India. Now they have curry spiced crispy cheese, potato and pea samosa, chicken tikka masala. Um, I love samosas, but that sounds kind of heavy. So let's do the crispy cheese. <laughs> like, that's not heavy, girl. But you know what I mean. It's crispy. Okay, so there was no shaded seating in India. So I came all the way back to China. So this is the curry fried cheese Ooh. with some sort of a dipping sauce. It looks very nice. It has a very strong curry smell. Now, personally, I adore curry. Back in the day, I hated it. Well, I was a kid, but now my palate has refined and I love it so much. In fact, Indian food is like one of my favorite cuisines. Chicken tikka masala. I know, I know that was made in like Europe, right? But still, butter chicken, paneer. I think that's like cheese, right? Is this paneer? Do you think, or is it like mozzarella? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, mm. I think it's some sort of like paneer type cheese because it is hot, but there's no stretch. It's like um, it's more like a rubbery, bouncy cheese, like you know. Mm. It's a bit salty. Let's try it with this. Hold on. That's just like paste salsa. <laughs> a little bit. I do hate it, but I don't love it. I think that it's lacking curry flavor. The curry is very light. Well, it isn't very light, but to me, I like a strong curry. And like, this is just kind of like curry. I want curry, you know, like a lot. It has a fantastic texture very crispy and I like the cheese's texture it has a very nice bite to it it's like squishy I love that but yeah it's just not curry ish enough and also it's just way too salty it's so salty that it made me kind of like cringe give me a little bit of chills you know you know what makes me think of fried cheese curds with a hint of curry and way too much salt that's the vibe and then this does sort of taste like paste salsa, but with a hint of maybe like mango in there or something like that, something sweet. It tastes good. But overall, I'm just kind of underwhelmed and over salted. <laughs> it actually just kind of tastes like a fried salt, salt crumb. No, <laughs> not crumb, but you know how like salt comes from caves and it's like in chunks? It's like a salt rock fried with a good texture. I honestly don't think I can eat any more of it. It's just, it's... And like I said, I love Indian cuisine. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I just think that Epcot's creation here is just not it for me. I'm sorry, Zaddy Golf Ball. 
I'm going to have to give the curry fried cheese a 2 out of 10. And that's a very low, but the fact that I didn't want any more says a lot. But side note, look how pretty this eating area is. I love the lights. So gorgeous. Anyways, let's see what's up next and let's hope that they have indoor seating. Oh my god, guys. Some clouds came out and they're blocking the sun. It feels so nice. It actually feels great now. Listen, I don't think that it's actually super hot out. I think that the sun is just extremely strong today. The sun said, listen up. Listen up, you hungry little hippo. If you're gonna eat for 24 hours constantly, I'm gonna make you sweat it out. So guys, this is the African section and um, a lot of you know I lived in Africa for a year and a half when I was a kid. And I've always thought that the Epcot um, Africa section was just extremely small. I feel like it should be bigger. It's a few little buildings and that's it. Oh, but they have they have food. Let's see. Let's see what they have. Okay, so all they have is spicy uh, giviri. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It looks like some sort of beans with like rice and Dole Whip. I've had Dole Whip a thousand times and I love it, but I'm not going to waste stomach space on Dole Whip today. And that like bean rice stuff just looked a little heavy for this heat right now. So I'm just going to skip that. Oh, wait, there's a Kenyan stand. Guys, I, I literally lived in Kenya. Okay, hello. They have Kenyan coffee barbecued beef. Oh my goodness. And peri peri skewered shrimp. I think I'm gonna try the beef, guys. Why not? It looks good. Like I said before, when I lived in Kenya, I didn't like any of the food, so I just ate like beans and rice, but now I love all these cuisines, so I'm excited. So this is the Kenyan beef dish. I'm just trying to find seating right now, girl. You know what? I'm just gonna eat at one of these standing tables right here because I've been looking for seating for like five whole minutes. But yeah, it looks really good. So it has a corn sweet potato mash with some sort of like a braised beef type thing going on and some slaw. Can you even see me this lighting? Oh, that's better. There's sweat dripping in my eyes. Let's try it. Ooh, piece of beef right here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It reminds me of Chipotle, but like better, fancier. And kind of just like barbacoa. So good. Um, it definitely has a stronger flavor than that. It's very lean but not dry. It has a slight minty flavor to it. Very warm cumin vibes too. It just has so much flavor and like so many different layers of flavor. And there's some sweetness too, almost like a cherry vibe too. I don't taste coffee though, but I'm happy I don't. I don't like coffee. And this sauce right here is so sticky and thick and ooey gooey and rich. It's amazing. Let's try this sweet potato corn mash. Mm. There's the birds. They're coming for me, girl. Ooh. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it tastes kind of like um, corn pudding. Mmm. I like only taste corn. No sweet potato, and once again, that's a good thing, because I don't like sweet potato. <laughs> no coffee, no sweet potato. Right up my alley, girl. It has almost like a sweetness to it. This one's got a little bit of sweetness to it. So smooth, but it has a bit of texture, so it's not like mush, you know? I love the corn mash. It's so creamy. Now let's try this slaw stuff. Mmm. Mmm. That was jalapeno. I love jalapenos. Mmm. Delicious, super crunchy, super fresh. They almost taste pickled, a little sour. It just really adds a freshness to this dish. By the way, this was like six something, I think, and it's really heavy. If you got this plus another small plate, that could be a full meal. I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, if I seemed a tiny bit awkward, it's because <laughs> I felt like I had an audience. There were like a couple people on the bench, like right next to me, just like watching me the whole time. It didn't bother me, and they were there first, but if I seemed... <laughs> A little tense. That's why. Look at this view, guys. Look at the ducks. Donald? Is that you, King? God, he has really shrunk. And he can't talk anymore? What's happened to him? Okay, guys, we are now in Germany. And the options are a. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait. A Shinkenun. Wait, hold on. A Shinkenun. Udeln, which is pasta gratin with ham, onions, and cheese. Very interesting. A bratwurst on a pretzel roll and an apple strudel. Okay, I'm gonna get this, but I'm just really scared to order it. Hello, how are you? Um, can I get a shin ken ken noodle? Yeah, a what? Shin ken noodle. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, I found a shaded area near Italy. We have the 
I, shim, hold on. Shin, okay, it says shinken noodle. I think that it was a different word back there, right? Whatever. This is it. Let's get an up close shot. Like when I tell you it is heavy, it's like a little brick. I'm not joking. So it's noodles, ham. It's like a noodle casserole kind of, right? With a very thick layer of cheese. Do you see that cheese? Oh, <gasps> girl. That's a whole dairy farm right there. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. Arm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's so good. Wow. You know what it tastes like? It tastes exactly like Cracker Barrels. <laughs> Sorry. Distractions. It tastes just like Cracker Barrels hash brown casserole, but with noodles and instead of potatoes. Exactly. It is so creamy. It melts in your mouth. And even though it is very heavy, when you're eating it, it doesn't feel super heavy and it's not super rich. It's just, it's just right. Mm. Oh my God. All this gorgeous architecture behind me, guys. I love it. The ham has so much flavor. The onions add such a crunch. Just fantastic. Fabulous. By the way, there was a girl behind me in a line with a huge fan, like a type of fan. And she was fanning herself and then she started to fan me too. And she was like, I might as well fan us both, right? <laughs> and I was like, thank you, queen. And then I was like, it's so hot, isn't it? And she was like, yes. And I was like, there's sweat in my eyes. And she was like, mine too. And I was very talkative, okay? I was not socially awkward this time. And this is what, like my fifth bottle of water since I got here, maybe, I don't even know. But it was such a nice interaction. And then I ordered and I was a mess. But guess what? I have been so good with my stutter today and in terms of ordering food and all that stuff, like I've been slaying it. I just feel so comfortable at Disney. Like I said, it's like a home, away from home you know and also all the employees are so nice that it's like you just know that like even if you're awkward or like a mess like i typically am they're not going to be rude about it because they're disney employees come on and so i've just been very at ease today very chill i haven't stuttered once so we love that for me growth oh i'm burping sorry okay guys so i think i'm gonna do one more taste test and then i'm gonna go back to my hotel room cool down for like an hour or two and then come back and stay for like the rest of the night probably. As an adult, I have realized that midday breaks really add so much to the experience. You just enjoy the rest of the day so much more. So I think the next stop is Italy. Yay! So this is the Italy menu. We have a focaccia ripiena, which is like meatballs, I think on toast. We have a cavatelli, which is some sort of pasta, I think. And then we have a lemon ricotta cheesecake. None of this is really calling to me at the moment, so I might try it later tonight. Okay, we'll see. So let's see what the next stop is, and then after that, I'll go to the room. Oh my gosh, the next stop is good old USA. What are the options gonna be? Kraft mac and cheese on a hot dog? Honestly, may maybe it's a mac and cheese hot dog. I bet you anything. Here it is, guys. Wow, very interesting. We have an Italian hot beef sandwich, chiopino, which is a seafood stew, chilequiles, and freshly baked carrot cake. Listen, this is from Italy. This is a Mexican dish, I think, right? Okay, interesting. I guess America really doesn't have any food of its own, does it? I think I'm gonna skip that, guys. None of it called to me. I might come back to it tonight, we'll see. I just want the perfect little dish to end the first half of the day, and that just wasn't the perfect dish. Okay, let's see what Japan has to offer. This is so gorgeous, oh my God. We got a teriyaki chicken bun, a fire taco roll, I can't actually say taco, I'm sorry, taiko, probably, right? And a beef wagyu don. You know what it is? I think I'm craving something sweet and light. So I'll probably come back to Japan too, don't worry about it, okay? But I'm gonna find something sweet. I'm just craving something like ice cream or something. Guys, you know what? Let me just be totally real with myself. I think I'm too full. And I think that's why I am turning everything down right now. So I am gonna go home, relax for a few hours, come back and First, first for dinner. for dinner! Oh my god. I think that was every ounce of masculinity that I had left. It just came out. It's all gone now. Okay, besties, I'm headed back now. Anyways, I just missed the ferry, like right now. <laughs> there it is, driving away. Bye, queen. So I'm officially back in Epcot. So it's a bit packed right now, but it's way less hot. So I am glad to be back, ready to eat a lot more food. I think I'm gonna start at the other end of the world now, and then I'll meet it back to where I stopped. I think that makes sense. Oh my gosh, guys, you missed it. I wish I was filming. A whole family just recognized me, and it was so nice. They were so sweet. And they were like, 
we watch you on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And they were just so nice. I hugged all of them. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sweaty. <laughs> and we took a picture and it was just so nice. I was a little awkward, but what else is new, right? Okay, besties, we are officially starting the other side of the world. And first up is Hawaii. So there's a Kaluuya pork slider, Spam sushi, and passion fruit cheesecake, which looks amazing, but I have to save my appetite, so I'm just getting the Spam sushi. It has teriyaki glazed Spam, spicy mayonnaise, eel sauce, and nori. Love it. I used to eat Spam as a kid, but then I just grew to hate it. I think because I just like ate it too much. Do you get me? But um, Alejandro loves it. And we always talk about spam. I'm always like, I can't, I can't do that. But if it's like a little fried piece in sushi, that actually sounds delicious. Cause I can just get a little bit of that spam flavor, but then mostly sushi flavor. I'm excited. Okay guys, this is it. It looks really, really good. And I was thinking this is perfect for me because I don't like fish. So this is a non-fish sushi, which I typically love. And I don't know what that is, but it looks like little noodles. I'm excited. Let's try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm. Honestly, I love it. You know, for the first 10 seconds, it's glorious. And then at the very end, I get a little bit of canned tuna vibes for some reason, just a little bit. And I actually like canned tuna, but I, I only like canned tuna with mayonnaise and salt and pepper on crackers. <laughs> I'm very particular about that, girl. And so, the fact that it has a little bit of a canned tuna flavor at the end is a little off-putting for me, but the rest of the bite is so delicious that I'm just still gonna eat it. It's, it's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. The rice is iconic. The um, sauce is like the spicy mayo and the eel sauce. So much flavor and the perfect amount. By the way, I used to think that eel sauce had an eel in it, but it doesn't, girl. It's just called that. <laughs> Let's try these green noodles. No, those... Are these noodles? I can't tell. I think it's a vegetable, <laughs> but it tastes like good. It tastes like, like sesame chicken or something. Yeah, very sesame oily, which I enjoy. I mean, all three pieces, guys. Honestly, with the second two pieces, I didn't get any canned tuna flavor. It was all delicious. I think it was just the first bite. I don't know why. I love it. I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. Girl, it doesn't even look stormy, but there's thunder coming from over there. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's keep eating before the storm comes. <laughs> okay, this is Australia. We have sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp, a roasted lamb chop with like potato chips on it. Oh my goodness. And lamington, which is a yellow cake with raspberry. Hmm. I'm thinking lamb chop, why not? I don't think I've ever had lamb. I have had goat when I lived in Kenya, but I don't think I've had lamb, have I? Maybe, I don't think so. So, we're doing that. Okay, here's the lamb chop. It has a mint pesto on it, I think, and the potato chips, it looks great. It is kind of dainty though, but you know, it is lamb, so it's fancy, right? And I am right by a trash can. <laughs> Hi, queen. <laughs> so, ooh, I almost fell in. I was gonna eat it like a like a chicken wing or something. Let's take a different bite from a different area. Mm, it's a little bone. Okay. You know, flavor-wise, it's actually great. Um it's pretty tender. I love the mint pesto, and typically I'm not like a salty mint person, I'm like a sweet mint person, but it really works here, and it still really does taste like a pesto, but just like a mint variant, you know, from the multiverse. And the potato chips add a nice saltiness and a nice crunch. My my one issue is um, there's just a lot of fat on it, and I know that that's probably not an issue for most people, and it's probably how it's supposed to be made and all that stuff, you know what I mean? So it's not an issue. It's just for me personally, I just get kind of grossed out by like excess fat. Like there's like a ring of fat around it seam in there. And it's just, it's just a lot for me. I think this area was a lot better and leaner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this supposed to be pink like that? Probably. It's just me. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Let me eat the chips by themselves. Iconic. Mmm. A little sweet. A little limey. I'm giving this pork chop. No, sorry, <laughs> lamb chop. A nice five out of 10. I think if it was leaner, it would be more of like a seven because the flavor is pretty good. So not one of my favorite things today, but also not bad. 
Um, by the way, I wanted to mention, guys, I think I've talked about this in the past. People are so nice when they fold doors open for each other, right? Love it. I do it too. But when you're like a mile away and they're holding the door open for you and you're like, I'm coming, it is the most awkward thing ever. And I would rather just open that big heavy door with my little dainty arms by myself. But I am bringing this up because today I was one of those people that held it open for way too long. <laughs> there was a guy like way behind me and I just stood there and held it. And I didn't know why I did it. I mean, of course it's a nice thing to do, but I like saw him jog a little bit and I was like, oh no, I made him feel pressured to speed up. And I hate that. So I'm officially one of those people, girls. Okay, so this is Canada. We have Canadian cheddar and bacon soup served with a pretzel roll and Canadian filet mignon, but it comes with mushrooms and truffle. And you guys know, I can't do the fun guy. So I'm just gonna go for the Canadian cheddar and bacon soup. Guys, look at that storm coming in. That actually looks kind of scary. Like, do you see the, just that line of like rain? Oh my goodness. You know what? I don't want this soup that badly and I don't want to miss out on things that I actually like really want in case if it starts to like downpour, you know? So I'm just going to skip Canada. Sorry. A boot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Girls, there's leaves flying. Leaves are happening. Okay, let's go. It's so windy. Okay, we're in Ireland. So we have a fisherman seeking pie. Okay, you literally can't hear me here because of the wind. So <laughs> let me just voice over this. They had a fisherman's seafood pie, roasted Irish sausages, and I think that the audio gets better now. And then warm chocolate pudding cake with Irish cream liqueur crusted, <laughs> crusted, custard. I kind of want to try the sausages and the custard. I know that's not very practical because that's going to take up a lot of space in my belly, but they both look so good. You know what? I'm going to try the custard now and then if I'm still hungry later on and I want something like extra, then I'll get the sausages. Okay, this looks incredible. She poured this hot sauce onto it right in front of me. It was a moment. Okay, guys, it's really about to get stormy and I'm nervous. <laughs> I want to eat more things. Okay, let's try it. Oh my God. <gasps> look at that texture. It is so moist looking. <laughs> the sauce by itself. Oh my god. I'm trying not to cause a scene. I want to scream. <laughs> this is incredible. One of the best things I've eaten today. Oh my god. I thought that was going to have like a kiggy texture, but it was just going to be like called pudding, right? No, it actually has more of like a pudding-ish cake texture. <laughs> like, look at that. That's not cake, you know? It's more doughy. Oh my god. The sauce is a very light, like, vanilla pudding flavor. But it's nice and warm. And then the cake itself tastes like half-cooked brownies. But, like, fancy. And because of the texture, it really just melts in your mouth. One of the best things... Ooh, Tinkerbell. One of the best things I've had today and in the past couple of months. It was fantastic. Ireland. Girly Merida. You ate that. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Remember how Merida turned her mom into a bear using a cake? It was probably this cake because I would turn into a bear too for this cake. 100%. Oh, so windy. Oh my gosh, but look how beautiful with the rain in the background. Very moody, very artistic. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, is that Ariel? That red dot. Ariel! Okay guys, it is time for France. We have the beignet au choice, fromages, croissant en escargots, boy, boy, <laughs> boy, <laughs> pommes d'achine, and creme brulee vanilla a la confiture de fraises. I think I'm gonna be brave and do the croissant en escargot. Because I've never had any escargot in my life. The lighting's kind of bad, I'm sorry. But I got this croissant de escargot. And I'm scared. I mean, it, it smells like garlic bread. So it smells amazing. Just like, there's a snail in here, girl. It even left, left a trail. I was kidding. Ah, I'm like breaking it apart. Okay, wow. It's the, wow, it's like full escargot is in there. That's a whole snail. Oh no, I'm scared. I don't want to have to... You know, I don't want to be that girl, but I might. I'm just warning you. 
I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. The whole snail. <gasps> I'm scared. <laughs> My sister Lexi loves snails. She, she like orders them like just without taste testing it. She just orders them because she likes it. Okay. Uh, uh. down. I'm sorry, I can't eat the rest. I have chills. The flavor was actually fine. It tastes like a buttery, garlicky croissant. Like, the snail itself doesn't have flavor. But the texture... The texture was basically a snail. Like, what you imagine a snail texture would be like, that was it. And I chewed it. I felt my teeth go through it. And it was very upsetting. I just had, I just had mental images. Can you hear me because of the wind? I'm sorry. I just had mental images of a snail snailing around in its shell while I was chewing it. And it was really throwing me off. But flavor-wise, it was fine. Texture-wise, never again. So I'm going to give it for a snail because the flavor was great. A five. Listen, if this was filled with like chicken, it would be a 10 out of 10 because the flavor was amazing. So good news. I don't think that the storm's like coming directly over us. I think that's like going to the side of us because all the thunder stopped. And it just looks a lot better. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, what do you see? I see a snail. Oh. So this is Belgium. We have beer braised beef, Belgium waffle with chocolate and with uh, berries. I am gonna skip it because I had a Belgium waffle yesterday at the resort. So I'm like, I can't let that take up space in my three stomachs. Okay, so we're in Greece. We have spanakopita. I think it's like a spinach pastry type thing. And then we have griddled cheese with pistachios and honey, a lamb euro, I think it's called a euro, right? Which looks amazing to me. And then plant-based impossible moussaka. So I think I'm gonna get the euro. Guys. <laughs> so I was in the line for the Greek place for so long. And so I like zoned out. I was just like looking at the sky, walking forward when like everyone else did. And when I looked back, I had already passed the registers and I was in like the food waiting area and I never ordered. <laughs> And the line was already so long behind me that I was like, I can't get back in line. So I just got out of line. I didn't get a gyro. I mean, a, a, a euro. Anyways, we're in Japan now. So let's get something here. Teriyaki chicken bun, fire taiko roll, or beef wagyu dawn. Mm, I think I'll get the beef wagyu. Never mind, guys. Japan was closed. So is my food adventure over? I feel like I missed so much. Oh my God. Next year, when they have the next food and wine festival, I'm gonna do a two day vlog and try a lot more because I tried my best guys, but I missed Japan, Greece, Canada, America. There was like a fry one next to test track that I didn't get to, it looked really good. They had like pickle fries and I was like, maybe later, but it never happened. Kind of sad about it. Um, well, I want something sweet to end my day. Does it have to be part of the, <laughs> part of the festival? If all the festival stands are closed? I want like a delicious ice cream or something, something just really cool and light okay so i just found a gelateria and it's not part of the food and wine festival but i'm gonna get it just to end my day i'm sad it's over i have to wait a year to have another food festival moment that was so much fun okay so i got my um gelato i actually opted for vanilla in a cone because i was like that just sounds simple and nice and refreshing oh so good um so good so I'm about to end the vlog, but you guys know I like to end my vlogs in style, girl. So we are going into the golf ball. In case if you don't know, there's a ride in there and it's kind of boring, but it has amazing AC. You basically go through time from like the cavemen to whenever they built it. Well, like the 60s, I don't know. And you just see all these animatronics through the ages. <laughs> it's really relaxing. Also, I felt really bad when I was in a line for the gelato. There was like a mom behind me, right? And I had my elbow out, like my like hand was on my hip because you know, I'm, ah. 
I guess as she bent down to get something, she came back up and she knocked her face into my elbow so hard. It didn't hurt me, but I'm pretty sure that it hurt her and her, her, her son, <laughs> sorry, it was not, it was not funny. It was horrible. Her sunglasses it fell off and she was like, oh, oh, and I was like, I'm so sorry. And she was like, I'm so sorry. I think she's okay. And I did not mean to laugh. I'm so sorry that I literally, I don't know what happened. I think it's the gelato. Um, the golf ball is lit up looking stunning. Hey girlies, we are on the golf ball ride. Let's go through time together. Okay, our journey is beginning. I think that's someone from like, you know, the Stone Age. There's a guy making something. I think that's Cleopatra, right? I think. She's stunning. I think this man is a teacher. Someone give him an apple. And <laughs> they, they look so cute. I love them. Oh my God. Let Quasimodo go. Why is Frollo here? And then there's the guy painting the famous painting. I don't know the name, but it's very famous. I think they're making the first newspaper or something. And ah! girl, why is Pennywise here? Is Pennywise one of the founding fathers? Like, I don't understand. Go away! And this is apparently the current family. So that's us. <laughs> hey besties, this is the end. Like, subscribe if you're new here and stay tuned for more theme park content and food content and hotel content. I love you guys. Bye.